I'm here at the Mudbots facility in Utah and we have an extra treat that I didn't even know was here. They 3D printed this test unit with some of their customers that they were training to use their equipment and we're going to take a tour through it with their CEO James Lyman. Welcome to a Mudbots print. This was printed by one of our customers and training groups. Uh, they print them and we tear them down and we start all over again a month later with the next training group. So uh, we have two different training groups working on this one. And You'll see this, our print is the final product. Okay? Top to bottom, we don't cover it up, we don't plaster it, we don't fur it out. Uh, we can do some cool design elements like this, uh, but that is our print. Can you talk about the window frame and how it joins uh, like the sandwich between the concrete? Yeah, our pr uh, okay, if you can imagine this here, there's one of these right there. A header. We print all the way through the window because we want perfect straight up and down lines. I don't want goobery walls and stuff uh, for our windows. Our, most of our customers, they look at stuff and they're like, I couldn't sell that. Uh, when they come here and see what we're doing, uh, they get excited again. It's what they hoped concrete printing would be. So, uh, number one, I don't want voids in my wall because I don't want a vulnerable wall. I don't want a wall that can uh, blow over or get bumped or whatever else. So we print straight through the window. Then we cut our windows out with a header up in here that supports the weight above it. You cut it uh, wet or dry? Uh, wet. Yep. Uh, if you wait till it's dry, it's gonna, you got dust everywhere. You're cutting a quarter inch a second versus uh, the way we do it. It's a complete different process than anything that's seen or shown and with a little apprehension about showing it here uh, because it, it's the process. You, you gotta have a process. It doesn't take a month to build a house. You gotta be able to print a house in a day. Otherwise, it's not faster, cheaper, better. And the roof structure, how does it connect to the top layer? Yeah, there's a top plate up there. Uh, we have uh, pilasters within the wall uh, with vertical rebar that ties clear down into our footing. Uh, it sticks up above the top plate. There's nuts and bolts that go on the top plate. And then we fill those columns solid with concrete. And, uh, but there's multiple methods depending on how big and what they're trying to do. So it has to be engineered. Uh, you know, we have several engineers now that are helping new customers, helping new customers engineers uh, get off the ground fast. So when different, we put these all up for uh, senators and we had a couple senators and some mayors and 20 people from the legislature that came here. And you have a comparison to some competition? Uh, just not really, just uh, picking on Virginia just a little bit there, but uh, showing that the, the, the different processes. This is a uh, uh, 400 square feet uh, little mini home, but we could have flipped the plan and done a duplex just as easily or flipped it because that's a common wall now. So instead of a seven hour print, you got a 10 hour print. I can print faster if I'm putting more mud down. Uh, like you said, it's, it's harder to print smaller things than bigger things. But we print our interior walls and everything at the same time. We don't touch or finish our exterior walls. We have a whole bunch of designs. If I gotta put plaster crews on this, set up scaffolding, uh, chip crap on the wall away and stuff like that, that's just, it's not, it's not fast. It, and it's certainly not cheap. So. If I got cold joints in this thing, every cold joint's $400 just in two part epoxy. So we don't like cold joints here. So the, uh, the outside of this and just a little bit over there, uh, we finished the wall while we were printing. This is an additive material. Uh, it's uh, just, just to give it a couple different designs. And then we show just a different design element, okay? Uh, just something to break up the wall so it's not solid. Now we're not hiding walls, okay? Our walls consistent straight up and down. But if you want to put lap siding on that, uh, as part of our training, our customers do that. Every training group has to print one of these here and then when they go home, they have 60 days to print one privately and then they do a private showing to uh, government officials, charities, customers. You print one of these in your state and you invite just five customers privately to come see what you have done when it's all done. 
uh, with time lapse video. We have a saying around here if you can't show time lapse video, it didn't happen. Set up, print, clean up, take down. That's the only thing that uh, is just, it's necessary. Come on in. So again, this is just a little mini home it's for the state. Uh, they got to build about 700 of these. We had 20 people from the state legislature that, that came down for this. Uh, one of our Utah customers that purchased our printer, they printed this and you know, all the expense of, uh, you're looking at a, at a two week build, a day of printing, and then to finish out everything. Uh, again, our walls were finished while we were printing, clear to the top. Came back the next day, sprayed it with uh, top coat, put an orange peel on this. Our customers have the CNC drawings for this kind of cabinetry. I mean, round corners are nice until you start buying cabinets and countertop. So we give them the CNC drawings so that they can throw a piece of corian down and just cut it out and it just fits right into place. And it matches the drawing for this. Uh, a lot of value engineering in this building with the doors and the, the kitchen set up. Yeah, I mean, my, my mom's like, Jimmy, where's the trash compactor? Where's the, you know, garbage is full? I mean, my, mom, they were living in a tent. This is, this is for the homeless, okay? Yeah, affordable housing is the idea. So people start putting all these frills on and no longer is something that's affordable. No, we, we tried to keep the cost down on here. Consequently, there's, there's no doors in here. We just use curtains. Uh, but this is a $13,000 deal. That's cost, of, that's all the materials. That's the paint, the mirrors, the lighting, not the windows, labor. not including labor. But you have a day of labor, $100 an hour for your print crew. Uh, you got $800 of labor. Uh, and then you got a week to do the rest. Throw up some uh, trussing, put your lid on, uh, taping and so forth. So uh, little bathroom, could have made that a little bit bigger. But uh, that was the cool thing of doing this. That they said, yeah, let's extend this a foot bigger so we have a shower area. And then here in the bedroom, two more feet that way, big deal, $50 more in material. But two more feet that way would have allowed you to have a, you know, a queen in here. So it's, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Uh, the people came down from the state and just lost their shiz uh, when they saw this and realized we can print this in a day. We can finish it uh, in two weeks and you have a product that somebody could put uh, $3,000 down and $350 a month and own it in seven years. So uh, th there, there is no product on the market right now. Traditional framing uh, or traditional practices, we got quotes for this, $37,000. And they refuse to do anything like this. They're just like, no, I'm, we're not interested. We're not gonna frame that. We're not gonna drywall that. Uh, what's cool is we didn't have to drywall it. This will cure you if you're a guy that likes to uh, punch walls. So uh, anyway, yeah, it's uh, it is affordable. It is cheaper, thirty uh, percent. We've been saying it from day one. Uh, thirty percent fast, or excuse me, seventy percent faster. Um, a third the cost, and we've proven it here. So. Uh, the state wanted every single cost set up, uh, every one of the trades, how much did the paint cost, how much were the windows, how much were the light, it was the lighting, break it all down so that they can see everything. And then they say, hey, we want to get rid of the curtains, we don't want curtains, we want doors, no problem, add a door. You want to make it four feet wider, add four feet. Uh, the print cost is marginal, it's like nothing. We could have gone five more feet that way, but you're talking to like, hundred dollars more material nothing so this was a, a fun thing uh, but this is similar to what every buyer of mud bots has to do and they're not allowed to make any public announcements no media nobody even knows they're doing it until it's completely done and then they privately invite whoever they want to come down and take a look at it. Uh, part of the process that we teach that's what our, our people do so they print this here they go home until they have completed this to our standards, uh, they are not author. They cannot print commercially. They have we certify the team so that we know that they are going to print a quality product 
And when they show it to people, mayors, governors, whoever, uh, it's not going to disparage the company or, or anybody else in it. So people like that about us. We really, really protect what we print.